Welcome to the Empire Builders Rampage and welcome back to my Setra the Imperishable campaign for Warhammer 3 where we are going to continue with the from last time in a world of empires with our world conquest. Well, we have now defeated the endgame scenario that we triggered. Uh, it was for the Black Pyramid and it died with a fucking whimper. And uh, at this point in time, I love that there was a name suggestion that I decided to add in where it was, uh, what crisis? Yeah, what crisis? So we renamed one of my chariots to that. Uh, also, there was a High Rollers that was another name suggestion that I put on in. But today, what we're going to be doing is, at this point in time, right now, the dwarves are on their last leg, at least, uh, kind of Angren's dwarves, at least. So they're on their last leg. We should probably be able to kill them off today, I think. I know I have to start off with this fight over here, because there's no way in hell you guys are killing off some of my units in that army. So we'll keep pushing on in, killing the dwarves. And I know for right now, we're going to focus up most of our attention onto the wood elves and then Bretonia for right now. The Empire likes me. Empire's trading with me. We're going to ignore them for right now until I have all of uh, Bretonia under my control and all the dwarves under my control. Because uh, there are quite a few things up here that I do need for myself. The uh, Books of Nagash are up here. There's at least one. This one gives you more canopic jars. And then some Lord Recruit rank, and then recovery time for all characters, which actually would be nice. That one we can grab. Uh, it is based off of a rogue army, so we could grab that one pretty easily, I would say. Uh, but let's get into this. I have this fight right here with King Rakash. Yes. They think I'm going to lose uh, some of my Necropolis Knights and some of my Chariots. No. So we're going to let you guys be controlled by the AI. Is this open field, or has this actually got walls? I think it's maybe just open field. It is... Come on. Make your mind. Also... Oh, no, that does have walls. Yeah, that, I, I looked at the last time. Um, also, I did find a workaround for why Kalita was not spawning. Um, other people with the Defeated Red Legendary Lords mod um, have had issues in the past, after a certain point, not being able to get heroes. I mean, lords to join them. And so I found a workaround. It does work, so I'll do that just before the end turn. And uh, Kalita will join on in with us the following turn. Which is perfect. So, we're going to take out Grombadol here. I'm probably going to have it so that my Necropolis Knights... I'm going to see if I can just sneak you guys in to go capture the main central point. Um, possibly try and do that. I think my bone, my bone giants just need to stand out front and shoot you. As I wait for my reinforcements to get here, basically. And uh, I, I don't see us losing any of those units that we had. As long as I just make sure that we're careful... And we use the fact that we have a ridiculous amount of range that outranges them quite easily. They have some artillery. Um, that will be a bit of an issue that we'll have to try and deal with. But my lord, let's have you grouped up. And then I'm going to have you... You guys kind of group up together. Because... I think my Necropolis Knights, I'm going to have you guys... I want to try and see if I can have you bring you guys over this way. If I can have you guys kind of like sneak on in over here and kind of flank stuff. All of all my bone giants and everybody, like, stand over here and just, like, slowly advance in after they've been shooting the area a bunch. So, like, right here, right there, and then I'll just have it so my lord. I'll have you over here. I'm going to try to have you go capture this point. So, let's start deployment, start the battle, start making your way forward. And then I do see they do have some barricades. Let's see. So, for right now... Yeah, focus on the units you see there. Oh, yeah, you can do just so much damage there. Uh, some of you that can't shoot right now, just go break that barricade down for us. My lord, yeah, you're going to go here. These guys, do they have any units over here? They have some. They've got some dwarf warriors, but I don't think you guys will be all that bad. Uh, you're being shot at by some of their artillery pieces. Okay, so I'm going to adjust you guys. I'm going to adjust you guys. Uh, can these bone giants get a good angle over there? To hit that unit. You don't have enough range right now. What's it? It was around there somewhere, but okay. For right now, though. Necropolis Knights! Start pushing on in. You can absolutely just slaughter this unit. There you go. That's all of you attack this guy. I'll just keep giving some boosts onto my units here so we get some slight heals. We do have the swarm ability, the tomb swarm ability, so if we can get them to blob up on us, I can start using that on top of these guys guys just start breaking down this barricade. Is it not taking any damage? Oh, no, it is. Okay, it just took a while for it to start kicking in for some reason. Okay, uh, you guys have got that. Also, I do have... Let's keep boosting you guys. Because I do have those blasting charges trying to hit me. Let's see, try and hit those miners with blasting charges. There are a couple of them over here. I'm tempted to start trying to spam this, but I only have two uses of it. Let's see, you guys... Get a little closer to keep up the firing range. 
You've already captured this point, and if I can, this honestly, they're kind of ignoring you, so I'm just going to have you keep moving about. I'll have you go capture the central point if I have to. I do hate that gy the gyro bomber is able to freely shoot me. Uh, I am, at the moment, going to just try and ignore it, and I'm going to try and just heal through its damage. So for right now, I have it so my bone giants, you guys are my hero, still trying to break down this gate. Uh, my catapults, you guys are freely unloading into things. Uh, I have my necropolis knights, you're trying to group up with my lord and help us capture this point over here. Because I've already taken at least two, and that'll just make sure that they can't build towers in those sections. You guys, I just need you to push through this area. Because once we break through this area, we'll be able to like start attacking you guys. Oh, they've got giant slayers there. Oh shit, back up. Yeah, I don't want to fight giant slayers with my gi bone giants. So let's pull you guys back a little bit. And uh, we'll have to start trying to have it so they're like, well, my allies are almost here. So we'll try and lure them over this way. If I need to, I can fight them. I just want to like pull back a little bit and try and have it so we can use some spells on these guys. Just there, I think that's... Yeah, that's about good enough. Uh, let's have you not fight in melee. I just want to have you do your vortex spell on top of these guys. And I, I would say the, uh, the giant slayers are a strong enough unit that I do want to actually try and hit them with the tombstorm. So we'll do that. Get you guys to start fighting. And you are doing some good damage, but you might take some in turn. Okay, just make sure you guys get the melee there. Cropless Knights. Yeah, you focus on the skirmishers. My lord is almost taking out one of the artillery pieces, and these dwarf warriors are trying to fight us. I love this one tiny little slayer has been trying to fight against my bone giant. Oh, did you find? No, he's still alive. He's still kicking. Yeah, you guys are about to win this fight, though. Uh, this over here. You guys only got a couple left. I'm just trying to make sure I keep buffing you guys with defenses and other spells. There you go. Yeah, Casket of Souls joining on in there to help out. That's pretty nice. Uh, you guys here. Let's see. Keep up with the long beards. My lord's still doing a good amount of damage over there. I'll probably have like half of you guys maybe go start trying to help him. So half of you help him. Half of you help out against the long beards. Bone Giants. Slayers are almost all dead. So as long as I keep just kind of spamming some damage on them. I'll get some healing up. Also, we should probably move you... Actually, can you hit this tower? No, I'm not going to waste my ammo on that tower. I think you guys are fine as you are. Gets down. Barricade. Start getting through that barricade. I can probably move you guys. Are they trying to hit me with something? Oh, no, my ally actually has been hitting you guys with something. Oh, nice. Okay, you break this thing down. So, yeah, no, that does really showcase my allies. Do help out. Yeah, no, you're trying to break down the other barricade. This one's almost down, though. If you guys just help me on this one, it will, it will die soon. Finally, this barricade broke. Okay, now we can actively start making my way in to this point over here. So start making my way up here. Start pushing in. Some of you guys are taking a bit more damage than I'd like here. Let's see. That's this group over here. You guys are currently being shot at a bunch. That's why. So let's get you all to group up with my lord. Because then he can use his heal in about 50 seconds to get more of you back. I'll keep trying to get passive heals when I can, but I think at this point in time we need to kind of get out of this area. You guys are taking too many free shots, so we want to just kind of pull away, go regroup with the rest of my forces. Alright, I've regrouped with my forces. Now at this point in time, I'm having it so that I will bring you guys back. You're still trying to heal up a little bit. Half of you guys are fine. The other half took some good damage, but I'll basically have it so we'll capture this point. We want to get our momentum up here. And then also, my allies are starting to make their way on in. So we're going to want to start singling out individual units. My bone giants are moving forward. I'm going to have you guys start just, like, singling out people to unload into. I'm now just worried about my allies being idiots. I just want to make sure they don't lose units now. Because we shouldn't lose anything for this fight. We, we really should not. Given the army that we have, given the troops that we have, and also just the fact that we have so much healing... <laughs> So yeah, like my bone giants, I'm just gonna have you guys, like, yeah, focus down the same unit. You guys focus down the same units, so you guys will absolutely kill them pretty quickly. Let's see, that point's now captured. Now we can have it, so that what we'll do is, uh, let's bring you guys back around over here. Slowly regroup with everybody else. My hero is also as well needs to, although actually, he might be fine back here. Yeah, he's trying to come defend you guys. Now you should regroup actually over with these chariots. They can use some help. Yeah, Grombadol's here, and he's starting to fuck up my heroes. God damn it, dude. This is what I wanted to not have happen. 
So I'm trying to have it so Bone Giants get on in there. Go help out against it that. I can't tell my allies to stop fighting him. So I'm just going to keep trying to buff them and give them heals so they don't die. Because that's about all I can do. So Bone Giants try and get in here and help out against Grumbadol. If you guys can start hitting him, he should start dying. My lord finally just got back over here to help out these chariots. So finish off these Chaos Warriors. Not the Chaos Warriors. The uh, Dwarf Warriors there. And then for the most part... Uh, my cab is slowly making her way back up. You guys need to get back over around back here. I think you guys got off my uh, allies' heroes. Are you going to lose one of my chariots? You better not lose one of my chariots. I swear to God. Keep healing, guys. Keep healing. Don't you dare lose that chariot. If it, it, At least if I don't lose the Necropolis Knights, that's fine. The chariots are easier to replace than the Necropolis Knights. So I'll keep trying to buff you guys, keep trying to heal you. If I can get you over here in time, I might be able to have it so that you can let off your heal. So if I can just get the leadership up, that's fine. Do my spells give leadership? No, none of them do. Just kidding, that was some of you guys firing at me. Uh, Cav, almost here. Yeah, you guys need to go kind of focus on these units in the back line here. Oh, that chariot's healing. That chariot is healing. So if we can just keep spamming heals up. We can get him back up in the fight here. Honestly, they've got to get close to hitting army losses soon. It's just, I think, Grombadol is going to be a tough nut to crack. And uh, everything else... They have a couple other slayers in this army, too. Okay, my lord was able to get here and get a heal off on that one chariot. So they're doing better now. Uh, now I have it so that I'm trying to get my lord now to be the one that focuses on Grombadol. Because he'll do better than this bone giant just standing there. I'm just trying to use them as a distraction. But my Bone Giants, let's now start... Oh, I think they just hit army losses. Yes, they did. So now it's just Grombadol, because I know he's unbreakable. So we have to take him out. Once he's dead, then the rest of the enemy army will give up as well, properly. So now we just need to have it... Oh, actually, I think technically if I take this point, too, I might just end the battle, too. But I will start just trying to heal up my army while to try and take him out. There we go. Okay, so yeah, taking all the points does still work. Um, but there. Uh, now, let's see. I didn't lose anything in my army. Now, what about my allies? They lo Okay, they lost 20 dudes. There's no way in hell they lost those units. So, perfect. Grombadol will be defeated once more by King Rakash. And then we can have it so we can start trying to push on in through here. Uh, and keep pushing up. Because now they... Without all of their legendary lords to really help defend them... I'm going to walk all over Clan Angren. Clan Angren's going to die pretty quickly. And then we'll be... Once they're dead... All my forces are going to be making my way over into Bretonia. Because I really want to have it so that what we do is we'll go over to Bretonia, kill them and the Wood Elves. Also, I'm still... Okay, this was brought up. Should I have Skeletor? Or a new lord that would be Vec uh, Vecna have the Sword of Cain? It was brought up that maybe Skeletor should be the one that tries to claim the Sword of Cain. And I am all about that, actually. I, I, I could very easily see us trying to get Skeletor the Sword of Cain, but also I could see... I could see either one. Either one I could see really working. Uh, I think that's all my armies right now, because we only had those guys. Okay, you're still the one walking down there. And if I do the army that Skeletor is... Did you lose your hero? God damn it. Yeah, he his hero died. Was your hero immortal? Yeah, you lost your caster. Uh, they were wounded, so they'll be back. Uh, this one, I believe. Yeah. Okay. So they, their hero was wounded. I thought I, I thought I saved that person, but no, they, they did not say, uh, survive. Um, but you know, I just need to change one thing before I forget. Is if I change this to player only, I will get Kalita next turn. Uh, there's some glitch going on with me, um, with the AI having access to this, and I think that's possibly the reason why Kalita hasn't joined us. So with that, Kalita should be join, uh, joining us next turn. Um, Jack Skellington, I'm going to have you wait until yes, the tab gets here, because then I want you guys making up your way to character drawn. You'll go up there, and then, honestly, we'll probably have it's like, this line is not going to take that long to push into. Akendorf, probably go to Akendorf next turn with you, probably, I think. Hello, Tyrion. What do you want to discuss? You want me to give you trade? That's fine. I'll take it. For right now, I'm not opposed to it, seeing as how... Uh, it, honestly, I don't even need money right now. I have 700k, and literally it's just continuing to grow. I, I do think... I'm going to start trying to see if I can like buy land from people. Because I have so much cash, it's often... It's not honestly a bad idea to just try and see, hey, 
can I just buy this from you so I don't have to fight you for it? Um, actually, I should do that down in the south. See if I can get that. There we go. There's Kalita. So I will now accept Kalita. She is now going to be joining on in with us. Um, I will have to get a new army for her. Um, I'm going to need enough canopic jars to be able to do that. But she is now here. Um, now we just need to have it so let's keep pushing all my forces forward. So you can go hit Akendorf pretty easily. So let's have you make your way up here. Start pushing forward, just sweeping all over the forces of the dwarves. So you can do that. And then I think, let's see, through tap, you can hit uh, the uh, halls. As long as you guys don't lose anything, I'm just going to keep pushing forward. Because now this is the point where we start snowballing with the Tomb Kings. Because uh, once I have an army for um, Kalita, um, basically, actually, I'll have it, let's see, let's see, tap. Um, then we're just going to keep occasionally just getting more and more canopic jars for, um, we'll use my canopic jars to get more heroes, so we can just get more and more, and then occasionally we'll just get to keep getting new armies. Let's see, cash. The question is, like, how do I want to split you guys up, I guess? So, if I clear this area off first, it'll be easier to finish off all this, so I'll send more of you guys up around here. So right there, Skeletor, yeah, you'll need to get your hero again at some point, but you're okay for right now. A tap. Um, I'll have you guys be going for Karaz uh, Crack next turn. Let's have you go here. Honestly, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Fuck you. I don't like this rogue army existing in my lands. So die. I don't want you existing here. Uh, that's both these armies, though. That's fine. Good tap alone can kill this army pretty easily. Get all of his army back with replenishment. And then, can I hit the other one? No, the other one's just chilling there. Probably want to kill you guys before we make our way out of here. But yeah, let's just kill you guys. You two are making your way up next turn. And then I have heroes pushing forward with everybody else. Um, I can start the wars now with the Tomb King. Uh, not the Tomb King, the um, Wood Elves. So we got the Undertaker and everybody else. Let's get you... Well, actually, I, I, I'm just going to hit the Oak of Ages immediately. If I hit the Oak of Ages first, that means I can immediately get uh, immunity to this uh, attrition. So, ooh, wait. Just a second. <laughs> Hi. Uh, break your defensive alliance with uh, him. There we go, and then again, of course. and again. <laughs> Why do you guys do this? Mm -hmm. yeah, thank you for breaking all of your defensive alliances, and uh, now Cetra's going to walk on in and burn your fucking tree, as you have no allies now to help you. Beautiful. Um, I, you know, I'm gonna fight that. I'm gonna fight the Ogre Mages. I'm not losing my Tomb Guard. Um, I'll have it so the other armies, you guys go for the tree here, circle that, and then bring my other army in, and I think you guys would be okay. Otherwise, I'll have to have, like, Cetra possibly come on in and help you. Well, that's as close to feet. It's a lot. It's a lot. Okay, continue sieging that for just a second, um, because I would say, first and foremost, let's do this with Cetra. So, Cetra, we're destroying the Oak of Ages. That way we're going to have the immunity to the attrition around here. And then um, I will try and have it so that what we can do is... I wonder if I should have Cetra technically... No, I should occupy it. If I, if I occupy this, that's what gives me the immunity to the attrition. And then... The other two armies, they might sally out of that area. That's okay. Those, those two armies are nothing too crazy. I can rebuild them pretty easily. If they die, they die. It's fine. Um, we can resurrect them, no matter what. So, Cetra here, at least, we just need to have you push on in here. I'll have it so, basically, Cetra will go for this point. The rest of my army will go for a different point. Um, I don't even think my Doom King, Doom Prince is like Doom. Yeah, you guys over here. I'll Cetra, you guys are going to go up and run this way. My Tomb, uh, tomb Guard and Archers. And then my Casket of Souls. Chariots off of the side here. Start the battle. Start to plummet. They've got a lot of skirmishers. I know that's going to be a bit of an issue. Doing a stupid arrow. Karnos, crap. That's fine. Hit the trees. Get a little bit of damage. But I can heal it back up immediately, so fuck you. Yeah, they don't like Satcher right now. Currently, I'm fucking up their lord here. Uh, also, they're blocked up rather nicely, at least, around here. So I'm just going to start trying to spam my tomb thing around there. 
And then I need to have it so chariots. Let's have you guys go around here. There's some vulnerable archers here. And my infantry is slowly making your guys' way forward. So you guys can kind of make your way up this way. And then my casket of souls. If you can, uh, try and get a shot over there. Sasha, you guys need to actually use your main heal there. Yeah, he ran like a bitch. He's like, I'm not fighting Cetra. Not like this. So he, he backed off. Uh, I need to have it. So yeah, there we go. Casca Soul start getting some support there. Chariots, you guys need to basically try and find their skirmishers and try and focus them down. Uh, my infantry, we're going to have you guys. I might have you yeah, focus on the points. Got a couple skirmishers over here. I'm going to have you guys either go along this side. Eh, there's not a lot of them over there. I'll go over this way again. Etc. Just keep buffing my uh, my lord there that's helping you out. And then just keep the pressure on. Cast the souls. Keep firing in here. Etc. will have another heal in a second. If anything at all, I can at least keep spamming some other damage into you guys. I do take reduced missile damage, but they're still kind of slowly hurting Etc. So we just need to have it so that if anything, maybe I should just keep focusing on the glade guard with you guys. Infantry, you guys are pushing forward. Archers, yeah, focus down the same unit. Like, focus down. Infantry, try and push up this way. Cetra. Ooh. Is it only the Zeus that's doing all that damage to you? That's what it feels like. But we've got all my buffs now up here again, and I'll be able to get another heal off for you guys in a second. Okay, I got Citra out of there, because he was starting to take quite a bit of damage. Um, got you guys out for right now. Archer's doing some good damage on their skirmishers. I'm going to be able to easily take this point over here, because yeah, you're dealing with some of the Deepwood Scouts on this side right now. Then I'll be captured this point. Infantry, you guys are slowly trying to make your way forward here. Try and push forward into them. Because I need to have it so that basically Cetra and company, yeah, you just finished off that eagle. Let's bring you back up here now, recharged, and now not surrounded by things. Kind of keep slaughtering these skirmishers. My archers, I'm going to be bringing you guys over yet yeah, now at this point to go help out my infantry, who is now, should be able to be able to start pushing into them nicely. The war dancers are going to try doing what they can to stop us. But as long as I give them some support, you should be okay. Chariots, go take this point first. Then I'll have you yeah, keep focusing on their Deepwood Scouts. Cetra and everybody, yeah, there you go. You were surrounded by somebody that made you guys take a lot of damage. Because you guys should not be losing to Zotes. Not the two of you together working as one. Um, you. Let's do this right there. Cetra is about to get uh, below his... Uh, he's about to hit his healing threshold, so I'll have to be careful with that. Try and get... Just keep focusing on these skirmishers. These zotes unbreakable. Okay, I'll start focusing on the skirmishers. Let's see, you guys yeah, keep focusing on those deep scouts. Skirmishers, yep, yeah, get on up here. Just start unloading into that section. Cask of souls, you guys should definitely be firing over here as well right now. And then if we just keep focusing on the skirmishers here with Cetra, we should be fine. Might have been those doing damage. There we go, with all the points captured now at this point, or almost all of them. Uh, we're starting to push on in rather nicely. Cetra, just start bullying their heroes. So yeah, start trying to kill them if you can. And then I just need to have it so that we keep slowly pushing on in. We've done a good amount of damage so far, taking a bit on Cetra. Do need to kind of get him to heal up a little bit more. But for the most part, they've got, I see like three, yeah, I see like three more archers, then some just basic infantry, and then my skirmishers are making their way up. Uh, do try and finish off the Lord if you can with my archers though. If you guys can take him out, then they should be closer to just running away. Okay, at this point in time, we have almost finished the battle. Um, the Lord is almost dead. Trying to kill off this other hero with my chariots. Skirmishers, you guys are making your way forward. Just keep trying to fire into the enemy army. And I'm just trying to get my infantry in around back here. I haven't even been using my casket of souls all that much. Because because you guys keep losing sight of them. Although also I should probably just turn you guys back on the fire wheel properly. And then you can probably just keep firing in whoever you can right now. The chariots kind of focus those guys down. Archers focus on the war dancers and other skirmishers. Cetra and such. Yeah, you guys are doing the same thing. You're just rushing on in. They're trying their damnedest to prevent us from destroying their three. But oh... It is going to burn. And there they go. They finally hit army losses. 
I will try and get a little bit of healing just because I know the fact that we are in a pretty dangerous situation, at least around here, just with the fact that, like, there's just a shit ton of, uh, there's just a shit ton of wood elves around here, so we're gonna try and get some healing up, primarily just on my infantry, that's all who needs it, really needs it. There we go. I got most of my infantry back, I was able to get one more chariot back. So that's at least decent enough. So we only lost 47 guys overall. And then Cetra himself just took a decent amount of damage there. 32,000 damage on Cetra, though. Pretty nice. So the tree has now fallen. The Oak of Ages now is under a new master. Uh, I'm trying to remember if it makes it so that I'm just immune to the attrition. Or if it also makes it so that the Wood Elves will now start taking the attrition too or not. I don't think so. I think it's the former. But Satra, we is now going to control the tree, and uh, we'll keep trying to push on in here. At least I'm so glad. That, I don't know why the AIs have been allowing me to do this. Every time they have a defensive alliance, I just tell them to break. It might be just because I'm so powerful. I'm so strong. Me just telling them to break their defensive alliance. They don't see an issue with that, even though they really, really should. Uh, due to the fact that it just allows me to just single out one faction at a time very easily. Uh, occupy the region. So Oak Ages is now under my control. So that makes it so all armies are immune to the Athel lore and attrition. And we get also more income from uh, building faction wide. So now you guys uh, don't take the attrition. I'm curious if that makes it so. No, it's still close to feet. I'll just have you guys keep sieging that. Because Cetra can try and make his way down there next turn to support you. If they sally out, I think we're fine. Yeah, especially since I've got a lot of units. They have a lot of archers, but I have a lot of units that are really good at just munching through them. Uh, their large entities would be the only thing I'm really concerned about over there, I think. I don't think we'll have to worry too much about uh, that otherwise. But that should be it for all my armies right now. Because um, at the moment right now, we're still waiting on, for the most part, I'm just continuously building everything up. Lamina, yeah, you need two more turns and I finally can build this up and then start getting more stuff around here. Yeah, you guys are going to sell you. I think we're fine, though. Honestly, the fact that we have so much healing and I have a lot of, like, units that are all over the place. Okay, the, again, the one unit I think will be an issue in here is some of their treemen and other large entities. A lot of their other units I don't think will actually be that bad. But hey, I've got my two armies. If we need to, I will withdraw from here. Like, we'll do what damage we can and then just withdraw. Um, ooh, the reinforcements are also all coming from one specific location that I can try and camp. <laughs> Fuck, let's try that. Might as well, especially with this army, since I'm the one commanding the Undertaker. We'll try and put our army over there. Uh, try and see if we can camp the enemy reinforcements to death. And then, uh, at that point, my chariot should be on the map. They were, uh, they were 50 minutes, seconds uh, until they get on the map. The enemy reinforcements, what were they? Because that really determines like how badly this battle is going to go. Because I know... I think we can win this. I think we can. It just depends on like how that goes. If we can like camp the enemy army, that would be pretty good for us. Like Let's see. They... Oh, it's two full minutes, and I have Vanguard deployment, so like I get to spawn right here. So we'll have it so that you guys are just going to be grouped up here in two little groups, basically. So that way, we get to have it so we can camp them, and then just slaughter these guys immediately. And we'll just have to wait for my reinforcements to get on the map. So let's get you guys... You can just be with the Tomb Scorpions. There we go. And then my caster has to wait. You guys have to wait to get over here, so we'll just at least grab you for right now, bring you up here, start the battle, start the plummet, and then just get on up here. We're going to ignore you guys. Might have some of my allies at least kind of make it so they'll be the ones that flank them, because they'll be on the map any second now. Or they could make their way over here and try and hit my dudes. Okay. Uh, let's get some heals up here and get some damage boost. Let's get rid of these Sisters of the Thorn. Their forces are almost here. 50 seconds. My allies are now starting to get on the map now. Um, I do hate that the only way we have to deal with their flying units... Oh, they have a dragon there. Uh, is with my ranged chariots, which is kind of sad. But hey, it's 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 fine. It's fine. We'll be okay. We just need to have it so that for right now... If I at least take all these guys out, I might just withdraw off the map. But I think we can win if we can do that. Because yeah, you guys just keep making your way forward. I just have to keep making sure that we keep healing my dudes. And as long as we can keep healing them, I will get uh, some health on you guys too. And the armies are almost on the map. Come on. They're almost there. Oh, no, they're starting. Oh, no, they are starting. Okay. Get on in here, guys. Start destroying them. Yeah, I think the treatment will be a bit of an issue for us. I think that will be a problem. 
Other units, though, I think will be okay. Oh, man. That's the one fighting the treatment. No, it's not the one fighting the treatment. Oh, no. Yeah, it is. Yeah, one of the guys fighting the treatment. Yeah, Necrotech, make sure you're nearby them so my Tomb Scorpions get some bonuses. And then I see a pretty big blob over here. Let's hit you guys with that. And basically, just need to have these guys yeah, fight these sisters in the back line and the Hawk Riders. And then just keep getting heals. Do we some good damage? All my Tomb Scorpions fighting the, uh, the forces of the Wood Elves. Oh, they're trying. They're doing some good damage, though. I don't know how my allies doing. Allies are actually doing okay. Yeah, no, they're doing okay. I just need to keep boosting my stuff. Uh, you need to get a boost over here. And you are currently right next to some of my guys. Uh, it's none of the guys that are beat up, but might as well do it. My chariot army reinforcements are actually taking quite a bit of damage now that I look at it. We're doing what we can. It, it, it is the treemen that are giving me the hardest trouble up here, so I have my lord now focusing down on the treemen. Overall, we're still doing good damage. Like, we are winning this overall. Slowly but surely, I just need to keep healing my units up. Keep doing what we can. Also, just do some vortexes in there since my AIs are all single entities, so we should get some good damage in return for that. If it actually stayed on the map, that'd be great if it did that. Boosting. Treeman is just about dead. And, like, how are you guys doing? Like, you guys are. It looks like you're winning that fight. You're just taking some damage, but it does look like you're winning. Over here, I've got one more use of my Tomb of Scorpion ability. Let's try and do it like right there. Get some Gorga damage. As soon as this treatment's dead, there's one more treatment I'm gonna have to start focusing down. Get some heals in on there. Don't even more uh, spells on you just yet. Ah, my ally Lord was wounded. He broke the other enemy army though. He was able to break the other enemy army, so he was wounded. I think that's okay, though. So my army is at least fine. I just need to finish off these guys now at this point. Which I think now... Oh, yeah. Now that we've been able to do as much damage as we have been... There we go. Yeah, see? The other guy was a um, legend, uh, one of the lords that is uh, immortal immediately. So he'll be fine. He took some damage, though. But hey, he won. So we were able to win that fight there. My da army didn't take all that much damage there. So I'll be able to have it so that now we can just walk on into the city. And... Um, I'll just have to get uh, King Alcazar back in here. Actually, I could put Kalita in there for a temporary amount of time um, until I can get her her own army. Because I know I'm going to want to uh, try and have it so I reset her skills because I don't know what she's got. But I'm going to probably just reset her skills. And I could just use the generic CA version of resetting skills because that wounds her. So, like, hey, once this guy's ready, I can just wound her, put her back in there, and, like, go I'll kick her out, put him back in here. We'll have to see. If anything at all, I don't think Orion's going to be able to do much of a be of much of a threat to Cetra now at this point in time. Um, seeing as how with that, yeah, so we lost the Lord and two chariots. That's that's fine. Um, the replenishment does not do all that much, so I'm honestly just going to grab the Canopic Jars. The more Canopic Jars, the the better. Orion's going to get his ass kicked by a garrison. Ah, uh, beautiful. This one do take the replenishment. Beautiful. He's still alive. So I'll have it so Cetra is just going to beeline for Orion and try and get his trait. I want to make sure he gets that. Yo. <laughs> sure. I'll take the money from you guys to not kill you. Yeah, so he was wounded for a time. I'm not. I'm going to replace this guy so I don't care who it is. Yeah, so... Oh yeah, you were wounded there. That's okay. No! They keep wounding my heroes! How dare you? But yeah, Alcazar... He was wounded. That's okay. So yeah, you guys... I better not lose a single unit. No, I don't. Okay. So we can take the tree. And then what we'll do now is... Let's see. So now we need to just have you guys kind of take some time. You need to get, like, one more chariot built back up. So let's get you a chariot. It's going to take you just one turn to get. Perfect. Um, and then... No, you lost. Sorry, you lost. You lost two chariots. You get... Oh my god, is my global recruitment seriously just... Uh, what? No, what am I thinking? I've been used to playing the factions right now. Um, so yeah, you guys right there. Etc. Probably just ignore... I want Orion's trait. So I want you to go chase down Orion. 
so ignore everybody else. Just go chase down Orion. I think we'll be fine there. I can put you guys... Actually, let me do this. So, I'm going to bring you... I can bring you over here. And I can just have you recruit in this area. That way, you can get your stuff. And then this army is more than likely not going to be able to do anything. These two armies are nothing. Um, next turn, you'll probably be able to make your way over here. Take the Craig Halls of uh, Findal. And then Setra just has to finish off Orion at this point in time. So that's good for all of you guys. Back down here. Uh, let's be pushing on up. Oh, I hate how you guys have this set up. Okay, so... For right now... Let's see. Do you have enough movement to get up there? You do. So, siege that for just a second. And then let me bring my other army up. And then, can you guys just push through this? This is Valiant to be. I call bullshit, but also, let me see if my agents can do anything. Let's see. We are their nightmare. Can you guys not succeed there? Let's see. I think it's probably because of the defense then. That's probably the reason why. So if they if they sally out, I think we're okay. That's a lot of skirmishers. Oh, let's see. I hate that on underway stance. Um yeah, let's go hit Karaz Karak. Thoric is not in range of the city. So let's just auto-resolve through that. Then we just take Karaz Karak. You're now going to be take. You should be. Oh, it's because of the encampment stance. I'm trying to push you back, though. Okay, so that way at least you guys are pushing up there now. Um, I will just have these armies. So these four guys, uh, you're just going to rush up this way. Let's just take this stuff quickly. I'll just walk through the lands that the Empire controls and uh, make my way through. Because if we can just take all this stuff, then we can just turn back around, focus on the eastern side. I don't think we'll have to worry, but yeah, like you'll go for this city, then boom, boom. These are the uh, two settlements. This one, you have to go up and around. It's a little awkward, but we can get there pretty easily, I would say. It's just, you guys are probably going to sally out over here, I feel like. Um, ooh, yes. Well, that right. Give us that. And then I'm at 696. I need more. How many more do I need? I need like, what, 3,200? Yeah, 3,200. I make 214 per turn. Oh, no, that's because of the capturing stuff. So it's a little bit lower than that. That's okay. So they are going to attack me. They're selling out in a way that I should be able to camp their troops again. Uh, this is Valiant Defeat. I think if we fight this ourselves, I'm going to have uh, Jack Skellington controlled by the AI, and uh, we'll see. Um, I did do the Sandstorm thing, so I think my entire army now should have Vanguard deployment. And if I can camp one of their ar their reinforcing armies, this would be perfect. Their armies are getting to me sooner than theirs are. Uh, oh, please. <gasps> yes! <laughs> oh, God, they're putting their reinforcing armies right here. Oh, that's beautiful. That's a fucking death trap. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. I'll let my allies deal with this army, and then I will deal with the main army here with Satep. Because, oh, that's going to be mean. That's going to be so mean. <laughs> I love that. Okay. Beautiful. So, because their reinforcements get here. Yeah, one of you in 50 seconds, the other in two minutes. And then my allies will get here in, what was it, minute and 30? Yeah, minute and 30. So I... Hello. <laughs> All of my guys up here. All of you guys, just make sure you can shoot them immediately as they make their way onto the map. Uh, right about there. Yep. And then you guys keep up as well. Catapults don't have Vanguard deployment, sadly. So they'll have to go here. Same with my heroes. Get you guys back here. You guys up. You up. You up. You up. And then my heroes. Let's just start the battle. Start the plummet. Get you guys to move up here. Basically just want to have my uh, catapults right back here. Heroes, group on up with everybody else so we can get these guys some good bonuses. Right there. Right there. And I need to get my necrotech over here to get boosts. Here they come. So yeah, just start unloading into them. Start attacking around here, and since my heroes are going to be here immediately, I'll be able to give some heals right away. So, keep trying to boost my lords and everybody. I don't even know if my catapults need to do anything. 
They are making their way over there. I do kind of worry about that. But my allies... Yeah, they're almost here. 24 seconds. I think you should be able to deal with them. But yeah. With all of you guys over here... Pushing on in. Oh yeah, we're doing some good damage already. Try and focus down Belagar specifically. If you can. And then I'm going to wait a little bit longer. And I think I can actually do it like right now. They're blobbed up quite nicely. So get that in there. 25 seconds until the reinforcements. But most of this army skirmishers. There you go. They start doing a good amount of AoE damage with this. Okay, some of the units are trying to flank me. I'm going to bring some of my stalkers back here to kind of defend my flank. Catapults have turned around and are starting to focus their attention back here. So that's good. My reinforcements are on the map. I just need you guys to get over here and help us. Lord, so far, you guys are doing really well. They probably should have it so that I was going to bring you back to help out over there. But I think I'd rather have you try and do like a big-ass vortex spell back here. Like right there. Because everybody's single entities back here, so if we just do any sort of casting, there'll be quite a bit of damage. Because I think my stalkers yeah, back here. You guys can't hit the gyro bomber. That's like the one issue we have, is we don't have a good way to deal with them. My reinforcements do, though. They tried to bring their bomber in. Man, the stalkers fucked it up. So there we go. So now at this point in time, they're still trying with you guys. Trying hard to get rid of you. Uh, but let's do another blob uh, with this spell. This thing's been doing a hell of a lot of damage. So I love that, that you guys have been able to get that off. Stalkers, yeah, just keep unloading into these dwarves. They're trying. Oh, they're trying. But they are no match for the forces of Nehakata. As if you guys are doing some pretty good damage there. They've got to be getting close. Now, they still got a decent amount of their army left there still. I have my heal going on. Like, this is just... This is mean. The only worry I had was this army, which my allies are now here. You're going to be able to absolutely slaughter them. They're like, the poor slayers, they're trying to walk up and they just get spit on immediately. Like, it's beautiful. I will, I will have my caster over here, though, to kind of support back here. My allies are making their way on in, but there's still a couple units making their way back here, so I'll need to boost my stalkers with some spells, because the heroes could possibly do some good damage. They are bringing in their um, Ushabti to support us. Support on here. They steal their cannons, but yeah, those guys are now being intercepted. So you guys should be okay. Just focus these guys down. I think you guys aren't needed back there, so I'll bring you up here to help as well. Okay, all that's left is the main army. You guys finished off the reinforcements quite nicely. Now I'll just bring up my Tomb Scorpions up this way, and we just need to start kind of healing up my troops. Because I've already gotten them to start breaking with some of their units. Some of their men are unbreakable, though, so we'll just try and get some healing when we can. It is taking forever to kill this lord. I'm literally getting so much healing back because it's taking forever to kill him. Like, you guys are trying. You're just kind of stomping all over him right now. He's, he's in there somewhere. <laughs> I've been debuffing him, so he takes more damage, or he has lower melee defense. He's just about to die, but I pretty much got my entire army back. Allies doesn't look like they took all that much damage either, especially because of this. There we go. Yeah, so now, one more hit. Uh, there we go. That will be us now be able to walk on into this city, and I, I think we will finish the dwarves today. Given the fact that we had some pretty good battles against them that took out quite a few of their armies, they don't have much. It's mainly just like kind of the awkward stuff around Sylvania that I have to like walk up and get to. Because as long as I move on up with two armies at a time, they really can't stop me. Because then once the dwarves are dead, we'll start focusing on all of our attention to Bretonia. I kind of want to go hit the elves, just so I can get the Sword of Cain and everything. And then, uh, once the Sword of Cain is uh, under our control, I think maybe that's when we come back and deal with the Empire. Because I kind of want to take the western side of the map first, then push all the way back to the east, and have it so that the final stuff we do deal with will be, um, Cathay and everything over there. So I think, honestly, taking Bretonia, and then pushing on it- oh man, yeah, literally no casualties. Uh, grab the range then. Uh, yeah, dealing with Bretonia, then going on in, and making my way over towards uh, the forces of the High Elves. Um, they've just been trading with me, so I can just break that. Hi, Tyrion. I uh, no, no, Tyrion. Uh, Orion. No. I, I want your trait, so I'm not giving you peace. Especially since I'm going to be taking your last tree that you have, besides the one the little outpost you're in, uh, this next turn. So, let's go back up to Setra right now. Cetra, can I get to him this turn? I cannot. But yeah, you can make your way up there. 
These guys can pretty easily take the Craig Halls of the Dawn. So you make your way over there. It's as close to feet. But with the other reinforcing army joining on in, you guys should be good. So make your way in there. Uh, I lose two chariots. That's fine. Chariots are easy to get. They take me one turn to recruit. So you can now take Craig Halls of the Dawn. And then I'll probably just have it so what we'll do is you... Yeah, just go into your encampment stance. Encampment stance, and then just grab more chariots. Honestly, I might just do... No, nah, I don't need to merge them. I can just take the time to recover them. So, there we go. Now we have it so that we'll take out... We'll get rid of Orion first. Then, we'll start trying to deal with um, the forces that are Durthu. And also, it does look like the Sisters of Twilight were killed over there, and they were grabbed over by Durthu. Okay. So, back over here now. So I can have it so... Find my heart You're the one furthest back. I'll have you go hit this city. So you take this city, Skeletor. And then I can have it so... Should be able to have it so somebody... Yeah, you can get over here. You can take this territory. I love that we just became the endgame scenario for the Tomb Kings. Um... Is it really that the fastest way to get over there? I guess. Yeah, make your way over there. It'll take you a couple turns, but then you'll be able to finish that off. I'll probably have uh, Skeletor make his way up here next turn. We've got Kraz Krak. Tap. Yeah, they're just gonna run. If I hit the city, no, they're gonna run away as well. Now we just hit the city, so they well they can't run already. But we get city. Can you that siege for just a second? Because we really need to, I can then camp them off the map. So try and get a little bit closer here. And then Katap. Did I lose anything? I do not lose anything. Beautiful. Okay. So there we go. Now we'll be able to have it so. Let's see. You've got a small little army there. This force now, we just push on in, finish you guys off. I don't lose anything. Then we can move up past Karak Dron next turn. So I'll give you that. We've got a thousand Canopic Jars. I need 2,200 more, and I'll be able to finally get an army for Kalita. You guys only have a couple more cities left. So I see Thorgrim, Grudge Bearers here. See you guys. This. This is then controlled by... <laughs> do these dwarves actually like me? They kind of do. They kind of don't hate me, which is kind of funny. Um, that's all of you. You need to move up to... All of you kind of get close to Skeletor. Because all of you guys probably go focus up to here on this stuff. Then probably go get the uh, rogue army for us as well. Honestly. Um, you can get up a little bit closer. Ooh, actually. Let's try and ambush. Let's try and have it so you might be able to see if you can maybe ambush him. Because you might try and walk over this way. And I can maybe have Jack Skellington just ambush you. That'd be perfect. Uh, you guys aren't doing anything. And then I just have to keep giving out the same skill points as for right now. God, there's just so much management at this point in time. Because our armies, is, our faction is huge. We make so much money. And I hate that that's like the one thing. Like Because we're the Tomb Kings, like I can try and buy land from people. But for the most part, like let's see. Who's somebody that borders me? I, I want to try and see... Like, Reichland, would you let me buy land from you? Like, let me see if I... Could I try and buy Steingart? I'm curious. You are not welcome in my court, yet here you are. Friend or... Minus 114. I have money, but it hits a limit pretty early on. At most, it goes down by, like, 15 points. And that's it. Which is... Oh, do not threaten. Do not threaten. We do not want that just yet. Hello, Leonka. What would you like to discuss? You want trade with me? I'm actually going to say no, because I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm your biggest main threat right now. No, I'm not trading with you. Because as soon as I'm done with the Wood Elves, I'm coming for you uh, immediately after that. So there's no reason for me to start trading with you, especially when... What wealth can you offer the King of Nehekar, who has everything he could ever want? Also, who's wounded? That was just a hero that's wandering about. Uh, also wounded, that's fine. Uh, Whale of Wah. Still don't have my heroes back yet. Okay. So, for right now, though, um... 
it would take you yeah it, they suggest going around it so you keep making your way through here then i can have uh you try me up here you as well you two will try and go up around over this way i think i can cross through here right yeah i can cross through here i can cross through there so we can have it so that maybe just one of you goes for this city and one of you goes for this city uh back down here so Thorgrim didn't run. Uh, I do have a bunch of agents around here. Can we like stop his movement? Or at least wound him? Assault units, you're not going to succeed there. You are not going to succeed there. And then these guys do not have enough movement. Okay, so Jack Skellington, can you deal with him alone so you don't have to bring another army in? Close defeat. I don't see it, but if I bring another army in, he's going to just run. I think we should just fight this ourselves. Oh, I have, like, no magic in Jack Skellington's army. What the fuck? Oh, God, that's actually a huge issue. Why are you so low? I didn't realize that. Yeah, that's a tap in here. Yeah, he's gonna run then. I didn't realize you were so low on magic, Jack Skellington. Uh, you need to be in Chalian stance, then, my man. Uh, I don't have enough movement, then, to get to him. I'm gonna take a little attrition. That's okay. If we can just ignore him, that'd be perfect, because what I want to do is just have it so you guys keep pushing through here, and we just try and take all of his cities, so that's all he has left. God, everybody's getting Grumbadil's treat. Okay, I have to keep moving forward with the High Palace, uh, High Place next turn. So, keep making your way forward there. The Winds of Magic is just crap around here. Um, yeah, you guys going there, you need, like, what, two turns? Yeah, at least two turns over there. And then Cetra now can get to the now. So that's easy for you. Okay, so now Orion, yeah, he has massive Orkal. He's taking Trishan right now, which is beautiful. So Cetra, keep chasing him. And then for right now, you guys are there. Um, that guy's not back yet, so I can't give you back him. He turns until he comes back. Oh my god. Two more turns. Two more turns until he's back. Khalid is also back in two more turns. She only got to level 23. Interesting. So she only got to level 23 there. But hey, that's good. So we'll just keep trying to... I want to just... I want to see if I can kill the dwarves today. Because if I just go... Cough here. And then Skeletor here. I need two turns to kill them off. Alrighty, let's see. So you guys did an awakening there. I don't care. Oh, the wild hunt begins. Orion is pissed. <laughs> he's pissed at what I've done. Um, let's see. This priest is ready for duty. This is the one that was with Skeletor's army. Yeah, I believe it is. So, you need to go try and catch up with Skeletor. Go try and check, catch up with him. And then I need to have it. So, yeah, split off. You there. You there. Do they have anything else up here? No, they don't. Okay. So, it's just those. Oh, actually, they've got at least one more city up there. So, I need one more turn. You're raiding around no, here now. Can you not run like a bitch? There we go. Now I can go. So they've got a little bit more land than I thought they did. Uh, grab the replenishment. And then let's make sure to put you into the encampment stance so you stop taking attrition. So making can reappear. Same thing. Oh, well, okay. Now Jack Skellington has to be in Jailing Stance. I did not realize how low you were on magic. So you need to start making your way up there. Uh, I can hit the high place this turn. I wonder if you guys are going to get confederated, just like what happened last time when I was starting to kick uh, Kras Krak's ass. You guys just got... <laughs> I don't need research rate anymore, though. Um, when I was beating them up. So they might. I don't think so right now, though, possibly. So there's nothing else really to go up around this way. Um, I would say for right now, just kind of chill. You guys don't need to do anything around here. <sighs> was one of my... Yeah, it was my... Heal no, it was my... Uh... Who, who did I, which lord, which one did I have in here that was in your army? It was one of my Tomb Princes. I believe it was... Yeah, I think... No, yeah, I think it was you. The De Deformal Prince. I think you were the one that was in his army, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I believe so. Okay. Wait, no, you guys are at least doing well there. You're almost here too, Rakash. So, I will almost be done with you guys soon. Um, Cetra, I can't get to Massive Four Call this turn, so let's move forward. And then I'm going to try and be an ambush. I'm going to try and stand, like, right here. See if he's going to try and walk outside and just be ganked by, uh, by Cetra there. Hello, guys. <laughs> Let me guess. You're asking for peace? Hmm. 
Uh, no. I was kind of tempted to, like, maybe I could just ask them through the land for the beast. Also, uh, the other dwarves are probably going to attack me soon. <laughs> They're so pissed off at me for attacking Angrund. So, I didn't get to ambush you, sadly. But, hi, Orion. Bye, Orion. Grab the replenishment there for Cetra. I'm going to be able to walk on into Massive Four Call next turn, and then at least one Wood Elf faction will be destroyed, and uh, then we'll have to start making my way back over to try and deal with um, Durthu. I think I will at least bring back. Oh my god, I don't care. Neither of these matter. I'm not. It, I have so much money, it doesn't matter how much they cost. I can build everything. Let's see, so that was. At least as long as it's the agents, I don't care about that. Yeah, so your ambush is foiled, but that doesn't matter. Cetra can still just. Walk on in, and you have like no garrison here. Oh, did they? Oh, they have one more city up there, actually. Ah, oh, I thought they had. That was. This is it. Okay. Well, at least I. What is? Khalid is ready for duty. Um, I just don't have. And those are all the guys that were in her faction. Yeah. Yep. Those are all the people that were in her faction. Uh, you are back. Beautiful. There we go. Now you're the one that I actually care about. So you. Just if I can click on him. Oh my god. Yeah, you. Uh, you need to go group back up with Katept, who is right there. So you go group up with Katept. And then you're better ready for duty again now, too. So we can have you go join back up with your chariot army, which was right here. So let's have you go back into this army. Dude, dude, dude. I have so many lords. What does she have again for her bonuses? So she just has reduced attrition... And she enables poison attacks for the army. Okay. I really feel like I'm going to have her be like a ranged faction. Ranged focus army. There we go. So you're back here. Okay, so that is still... He's still alive. He doesn't have a lot. But I kind of want to ignore that stuff for now. Let's give them a temporary peace, maybe. I can almost like for... Yeah, give me all your money. Oh, you don't have much. That's... Eh. Actually... Oh, I can't trade the settlements because I don't border it, but yeah. Give me all your money. I'll give you a temporary piece, Orion. And then I'm going to start focusing, try and get ready to focus on Durthu next. So we'll kind of beat him back. Because, like, once we take all the trees, then they don't really matter all that much. Because they don't have a whole lot to throw at me. Oh, man, most of your armies are just the dryads. Oh, that's not good for you. That is definitely not good for you guys if that's, like, literally all that you guys have for right now. Um, but at least for right now, I'm just about... Done with the dwarves. They're almost fully dead. It's like, be able to take at least this city. And then I can get these two here as well. So they should only have a couple more, although I'm expecting them to possibly be confederated now soon at this point in time. So yeah, Zolfbar. Zolfbar is the other area that they've got that I still need to hit, but I would have to wait until next turn for that. And I think we'll be done for today at this point. As at this point in time. Clan Angren's dead, basically. They, they're they probably going to be confederated, I feel like. And then if they are, I'm just going to be starting a war with uh, Kerak Kadron. That's what it kind of feels like. And then I know, like, right now, like, I'm halfway there to getting enough Canopic Jars for an army for Kalita. I just want to get her an army. And then from that point on, I'm just going to start spamming out heroes. I'm just going to start spamming out heroes because then I can just keep getting three more canopic jars per turn per unit because i can almost have it so like if i can get it so like i have enough canopic jars to get like one of those guys every other turn i can start getting a rapid amount of uh canopic jars to just speed up the amount of armies i can have but for right now at least i think this is a pretty good place to end for today hope you guys enjoyed this if you guys did let me know down in the comments down below love what you guys have to say about this campaign any thoughts happen in general this is rampant and i'll see you guys next time